Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dani and today it's time for March M&M CBR. This is the first M&M CBR that you're watching. This is a game that I play every month to pick the books that I'm going to read the following month, that I'm going to try to read the following month. And the rules are very simple. I pick two M&Ms for each book. The first M&M go the arrow goes on the top, the second goes on the side, and whatever prompt I get, I have to pick a book to read on that month. Like I did with last month's M&M CBR, I'm going to really focus on the books that I am most excited to read, I'm, are all my goals for me to read, are my TBR card that you cannot see, but <laughs> there are a lot of books there. Uh, and just overall, I have a ton of books that I want to prioritize and others that I don't, so I'm gonna focus on the first batch. If you missed my 2023 uh, reading goals, you can check that out. Uh, most of the books are there, but there's a, a, also a few others that I could also add to the CBR. Before we get into March's TBR, let's see how I did in February. Like I mentioned, on my February TBR, my goal for the M&M CBR right now, for the moment, uh, is not to try to read all of the books, it's really to just give me a guide and like options to pick from throughout the month. Uh, and I had six books. So I had a first uh, Touch of Light, which was for buy a book. I should have bought the book even if I didn't get to it, but I knew that I wasn't going to have time to read it, so I didn't even buy it. And I'm still very excited to, to read it, hopefully soon. Then we had uh, Arc Conspirator by Veronica Roth, which was for short book, if I'm not mistaken. And I didn't receive the book yet. I had it pre-ordered, but Indigo had a soul cyber attack thing. I don't have no idea when it's coming, so I did not read it. Then we had these four physical books. Uh, Kindred is the one that I'm actually reading right now. I'm almost halfway through. I'm going to really try to focus on it, uh, try to finish it in February, but we'll see if it happens. I have like three days. And this one was for a color generator, random color generator. Then I have Just the Kings by Richard Swan, and I did read it, I finished it. I will have my wrap up to talk about it soon. And this one was for new author. Then I have Leviathan Wakes, which was for, Jesus, which was for uh, two or more authors. I did not even start it. Then I have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, which was for the Instagram scroll prompt, and I did not read it. So basically I read two of the six books, uh, Counting Kindred, and I read three books so far in February. The other one was A Fifth Season, which was an audiobook that I listened throughout the month. So I did well. Three of the four, three, three, two of the three books that I read were from the pile. So I'm counting it as a success. I'm not going to add those same prompts to the bag again. So we get some new ones, but then next month I'll add, I'll add the ones that I picked for February here back. I don't have any specific plans, goals for March. We'll just see what the M&Ms pick for me. But before we start picking, we have to replace the prompt from the last prompt from last month. And let's go with, oh, those are two prompts here. One word title. Okay, so now we can start. Let's hope for some cool different things here. We'll see. The first one I'm for the first book is green. The second one I'm for the first book is Red. And we got adult. This is a very nice, simple, generic, all, a lot of the books fit prompt, which is not great for the beginning of the game because I might end up picking a book that I could fit a more specific prompt, if you know what I mean. But let me pick an adult book. Okay, so for the adult prompt, I'm going to go with the Kaiju, the Kaiju Preservation Society by John Scalzi. This is a book that I bought because of the sci-fi Goodreads sci-fi award, Goodreads stress awards sci-fi category. <laughs> the, all the information is in my 2023 goals video. Uh, and this is about, a, I don't know much besides what the title already says. I guess they have a, a preservation place, like a sanctuary for kaijus. I have no idea what else is in here? I know there's something about COVID-19 because it says right here on the beginning of the synopsis, but I don't want to read more than that. My husband read this book in February and he was laughing a lot while reading it, so I know it's going to be funny and I can't wait to get to it and it's really short. So first book for the TBR. Let's replace the prompt. Uh, oh, oh, it was an arc, but it fell. <laughs> here it is, arc. If you don't know, ARC stands for Advanced Reader Copy. I have a lot of uh, Nag Alley books that could fit for that, so that would be nice. First I'm going to for the second book is 
green again, okay? Second M&M for the second book is brown. Okay, we got pretty cover. Let me think. Let me see if I have a book that's specially, that has a specially beautiful cover, which would be like special editions or something probably. Okay, so I think this is one of the prettiest books I own right now. And it's not just because of the cover, but I also really like the cover. And it is City of the City? No, just City of Last Chances by Adrian Tchaikovsky. And it is the beautiful Goldsboro edition because of the sprayed edges. How gorgeous is this? Okay, so I, again, I have no idea what this book is about. Let's check. There has always been a darkness to Ilmar, but never more so than now. Okay, so this is a fantasy book. I believe it's at standalone, which is nice. Uh, and it's about a city that's really dark. There's a lot of bad things happening. Murderers, madmen, fanatics, thieves. And apparently there's a portal in, on the woods that open to strange and distant shores. And I don't know much more. And I haven't heard anyone talking about it, but I'm very curious and it's just really pretty. Look at the spine also. This whole thing is pretty. It's not gonna focus. Goldsboro has this plastic thing uh, on the hard on the dust jackets, which is really nice to protect them. So I just keep it, but it makes it harder to read and to, to see in the video. But, but you can see it and it's really gorgeous. Let's replace the prompt. Oh, cat pick. Always a favorite for everyone. <laughs> the first M&M for the third book is... Blue. Second M&M for the third book is... Yellow. Okay, we got Instagram poll. I think I'm gonna wait and put this poll up when the video goes up. Because then you watch the video, you can go and vote for the book. So I don't know which books are going to be included. I'll check, uh, I'll let you know by the end of this video which books are going to be included on the poll. But that's what I'm gonna do and I think that's, that's a really great way to do it because you can see the video and then just go and vote. My Instagram is linked on the description, so follow me there if you want to participate on the sort of things. Let's replace the prompt. Oh, there are two here. Let me shuffle it a little bit. There are not a lot of prompts here. I removed a few and I might have forgotten some inside books that were on my TBR in the past, but it's okay. Translate. So if this comes up, I have to read a book that was translated, which means that I have to read the translated version of the book. That's what it means. First M&M &M for the fourth book is... Red. The second M&M &M for the fourth book is... Yellow. And we got book box. I could have put City of Last Chances for book box, but I have lots of others. So the book box book that I'm more excited for from the ones that I have is Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. This came on the adult fairy loot box and it's a, it's a kind of short book with beautiful sprayed edges dystopian sci-fi story about this woman who was the poster girl uh, for the revolution and it's kind of like a 1984 type kind of world in which people have like an ocular implant that tracks everything that they do and now I think she's going to turn to the rebel side and try to fix what what's going on. It's going to help me with my sci-fi goals for the year and I'm really curious to read it. I've heard not a lot of things about it and people seem to like it okay. It's kind of, It feels like it's an average book. I hope I like it more than that, but it's the fourth book on the TBR. Let's replace the prompt. Four or more words on the title. We need two more books. So the first one I'm for the fifth book is... Orange. We are sure getting a lot of variety on this one, which is great. The second M&M &M for the fifth book is... Yellow. And I got Continue Series, which is one of my goals for the year, so that's great. So I just have to pick a book that's the second or so book of the series. 
I would pick The Tyranny of Faith by Richard Swan, which was a sequel to Justice of Kings, but that was also a pre-order from Indigo that did not arrive yet, so I have no idea when that's coming. So what should I... Oh! I have two options. Okay, so I actually have a lot more than two options, but I have two options that just that I thought about right now that I want to focus on, and that is the Thursday, Thursday Murder Club series and the Monk and the Robot series. So this is uh, The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman, which I almost put on my February TBR, it could be a sign. And this is A Prayer for the Crown Shy, which is a very short uh, novella by Becky Chambers. And this is about a group of old people who try to solve crimes on their free time. They only have free time, they live in a retirement village. So they try to solve crimes. And this is about a monk and a robot that explore the world and talk about life and humans and all of that. So it's just calm and philosophical uh, thing and this is fun and hilarious. I think I like the first, this are both the second books in the series. I, I don't know, I'm not sure if this is a duology, if this would make me finish the series, which would, would be really nice. Uh, this for sure is not. There, There's one more that was already uh, released and there's another one that was already announced for the end of the year. So what should I pick? I think I'm leaning towards The Man Who Died Twice. So that's what I'm going with for now, but I will reserve the right to change to this one if that's what, I, what I'm more in the mood for throughout the month, but this is the first goal. Now let's go to the last book. Let's replace the prompt. Classic. The first m for the last book is... Brown. The second m m for the last book is... Green. Oh no. <laughs> this is random shelf. So I'm going to randomly generate a number of my shelves and pick a book from that. There are some shelves that don't have a lot of unread books and for sure not books that I want to read right now. So we'll see how that goes. But I have, I'm going to already skip some shelves, like not add the, some shelves here that really don't have any books for me to read, like the ones that have Way of Kings Leatherbound and The Ark of a Scythe, I already read all of those, and the Full Metal Shelf, I already read all of those, so I'm not gonna put them on my counting. Okay, so I have 19 shelves, the last one is my TBR cart, that's what I'm counting, and it also counts the books that are here on the table next to me, because they are the ones that were on the, on the cart, but I was on my TBR and I didn't get to them, you know what I mean. Let's uh, change this to 1 to 19, hopefully you can see it, and generate. Oh, this is too nice, oh my god! Okay, so any book on my TBR cart, or the ones on the table, this is the best possible result that this could have gone. I could read anything. Okay, this broke me because these are literally all the books that I'm more wanting to read. So I could pick anything. Okay, I'm going to go with The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. This is the first book in a fantasy trilogy that is all out and I haven't read yet. The only R.F. Kuang that I've read is Babel. And I'm really excited to read this one. Everyone loves it and I think I'm going to love it as well. I already have the whole trilogy, so hopefully I'll love it. And this I know is a military uh, Chinese-inspired uh, fantasy. And that's pretty much all I know and all I want to know before reading it. The book is pretty beat up. It got rained on at some point in its life, but it's here and it's readable and that's all that matters. <laughs> I was really nervous there for a second, but that's the best result that we could get was the shelf 19. <laughs> now let's pick the books for the Instagram poll. I have three blue books here <laughs> to put on the poll and you get to pick between them. So the first one is The Three Body Problem by Sixteen Lu. This is the first in a sci-fi trilogy. I think it's about first contact with aliens. I could be wrong. I haven't read the synopsis. I know there's going to be a, an adaptation for it or there has or already exists or something, but that's why I bought it at first because I didn't want to have the sticker for the adaptation on the book. Literally, that's why I bought it. But I'm very excited to read it. It's part of my goals for the sci-fi for the year. And we have How High We Go On The Dark, In The Dark, by Sequoia Nagmatsu. This is another sci-fi that I've seen compared to Sea of Tranquility. It's a little bit more literary 
uh, if that makes sense, uh, instead of like hard sci-fi, but it's also on my goals. It was on the, on the Goodreads Choice Awards for last year. And Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. This is a mystery or a thriller or a mystery thriller or something like that uh, about this family that everyone has killed someone, some more than others. <laughs> and I think it's a closed uh, environment thriller and someone dies or something. I don't really know. And this is also the first in a series. So this one is standalone, the other two are first in series. Uh, just pick the one that you want to hear my thoughts on, if I get to it in March. So these are the books of the M&M's picked for me and one of the three that you're going to pick for me on Instagram. And like last month, let me know which one you want me to prioritize more uh, in March and we'll, I'll try to get to it. I have a feeling the answer will be Poppy War, but we'll see. I don't even know what I want to prioritize. I want to read all of these books, like right now. So I'm going to close this and go read Kindred because that's my current read and I should focus on it. Let me know if you read any of these books. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and thank you so much for joining me. Bye!